Hey Divi people, this is John from Divi Ready Themes, and in today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how we created those awesome inline Bloom email opt-ins. These are actually on sale on my site right now. Well, they're not on sale, they're actually free right now to download. They're going on sale tomorrow for $10, so if you get a chance, try and grab yours while it's still free. Okay, let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create the Bloom email opt-in. So we're going to go into our WordPress administration. We're going to go down to Bloom and click on Bloom opt-ins. And once we're here, we're going to click on New opt-in. I'm going to choose Inline. And that brings us right to our setup form. I'm going to give my form a name. Let's call it Bloom Optin. Make it easy. On this form integration part here, you have to select an email provider and you have to select the account or else your form won't work. So I'm going to go in and choose MailChimp and use my test account. And so you got your email provider account and email list. All that's set. Let's go to design your opt-in. Now on this next page where it asks you to choose a template, you don't have to worry about choosing a template, just grab the first one because we're getting rid of all this. The only thing we need is the actual opt-in form. So let's choose this one here, scroll down, and customize. Once we get into the customize part here, I'm going to remove any of the text that they have written in here. The opt-in message comes out. I'm going to set the image to no image. I'm going to select the background color. I'm going to clear it. I'm actually going to select the form background color and clear that as well. It doesn't actually do anything, but I like to do it. We're going to make our form button purple. Okay, for some reason that's not working. That's good enough. Make sure our button uh, text is light. Let's give our button some text. Let's do get me on the list. And I think we've got everything here. We've taken out all the text on top. We've taken out the image. Don't worry about this here. That's not going to show up. Let's go to uh, save and exit. And you'll see we have our new opt-in show up here. Now, the opt-in will have a short code here, generate short code. That's what we need to grab. So click on that, and you'll see that it has the short code for this actual Bloom inline opt-in. We're going to take that and copy that because we're going to need that for later. Okay. Let's go back to our pages. Now we're going to add a new page. And we're going to call the page Bloom opt-ins. We're going to make it full screen. I'm going to give it a blank template so there's nothing else on the screen while I'm doing this. Go ahead and use the Divi Builder. And we're all set to go. So as soon as you start using the Divi Builder, it's going to automatically insert a, a, a regular section and a regular full of uh, regular row. Um, we're going to go ahead and publish this because we're going to be using the Visual Builder. So once that's saved, let's go in and use the Visual Builder. Let me close that down while this is loading. I'm not sure why I keep getting this thing here. I, I have something on the page, but it thinks it doesn't have anything. I'll just click X and we'll go right to the page. So you see that we have our one section here with our one row. Let's say we're going to add a new section. We're going to put a little down on the page. Let's add one regular section with one regular row. And in that row is going to be the code module. And the code that's going to be entered there is going to be the code that we just copied from the Bloom module. And save that. And we can see it started spinning. Our module is loading. 
and there we go. And like I said, even though we cleared out the colors on the form, the form still comes through with the default gray background. So that's where the little CSS code is going to come into play. CSS, CSS code we're going to need is right here. And this is going to be copied into your custom CSS, CSS section. I'm sorry. Um, let's go over to the, let's go to the, uh, right here. This is where you're going to enter in the actual code. And I've, I've already got it entered here, but what you're going to do is you're just going to copy the code. And we're going to go back in here. And you're just going to paste it into your custom CSS. And give it a save. Okay, that's done. Now we come back into our page here. Let's actually save this. And let's give it a refresh. The only drawback to you to doing Bloom in the Visual Builder is a little bit of time it needs to load. But uh, if you have a fast connection, it shouldn't be that bad. Okay. Now you see that it still has in, it still has the color. Even though we entered in the CSS, it still has the colors in the background. That's because we haven't applied a CSS class to this module yet. So we're going to go into the module settings, advanced CSS classes, and the class we're going to be using is trans module. And you'll see that as soon as we enter it in, the colors all go away. So let's save that. So that part is done. Next thing we need to do is put a background image into our form. What I usually do when I'm, when I'm working in Divi, I usually have a separate page open with uh, Pexels or uh, Pixabay or whatever is your favorite choice of uh, image, image uh, websites. Um, I'm going to choose, I'm going to choose this one right here. It's got a nice line across it, which will go good on this opt-in. Let's go ahead and download the 1920 version. Okay. Now, I didn't clear this out from the last one that I did, so let me go in here and just delete this so I can show you what I was doing. Okay. Actually, I have it in here already, but okay. Let's make this a little bit smaller. Now, when I work in Photoshop, I usually have, I know the exact dimensions of the uh, graphic that I need for the, uh, the email opt-in. I usually use 1920 by 600 pixels. So I have a blank document here sized to that exact dimension, 1920 by 600 pixels. This way, when I bring in my image, I won't have to, you know, slice it or put guides in it and everything like that to get it all set. All I do is take it and drag it into my template that I've already got set up. And we see that it was the exact size 1920. If we zoom out a little bit, oops, let me just stretch this window a little bit. Do control T. We'll see that we're just a little bit, let's stretch it out just a little bit just to get it past that point there. Center it. Let's get those stars in the center. Hit enter and we should be good to go. That looks good to me. Let's go ahead and save that. I save it as a JPEG, quality 50, 1920 by 600. Let's go ahead and save that. I already have it saved once, so I'm going to go ahead and overwrite that. And that's how we get our background image for the uh, Bloom opt in. So let's go back to our page. I think it's right here. Okay. And let's go into settings here. Let's go into the background, background image, add background image. Now I've already uploaded the uh, star field, so I'm just going to go ahead and select it, upload my image. And as you can see, it's starting to take a little shape. So the next thing I do is I add a text module. And I'll put in some uh, custom text over here. Uh, join my mailing list. No period. 
Let's grab some dummy text from Lorem 2. Let's take this right here. Oops. And put that little bit of dummy text there. Let's go ahead and make our title in H1. Let's go on our design. Heading text. I'm going to use Poppins because that's my new favorite font. I'm going to color it white. I'm going to center it. Then we're going to go into text. We're going to color that white. And we are going to center that as well. Go ahead and save that. Now you can go ahead and take your module and put it above. And every time you do something in uh, with Bloom, it always has to reload for some reason. Okay, there we go. That's looking a little bit better. Now we need to remove some of this extra space around the actual form here. So let's go back into our Bloom module. Let's go to Design. Let's go to Spacing. Chain the top and bottom custom margins. And let's go ahead and give it a value of... Which way am I going? Let's go. To, let's give it a value of negative 80. That's enough room on top and should be enough room on bottom. So let's go ahead and save that. And the next thing you need to do is to adjust your section margins. And we see there it's looking very good. Uh, might a little bit more room on. Oops. Okay. I'm just going to give it a little bit more room on the bottom. And that should look good. All right. Let's give it a save. And let's exit our Visual Builder. And we are looking good. Got a nice full width slider. I mean a full width opt-in. That looks good on any page. Okay, I think that looks good. That's it for the video. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, please subscribe down below. I'll have a complete transcript of this video on my website. I'll include a link to that in the uh, information below. Also, the code that you're going to need for the CSS. So, this has been John from Divi Ready Themes. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you on the next video.